Oh, and then we, then we go over to this table over here. It's a little, it's a little gangster table over here. We got we got all, all, all the characters here over here. We got my man Manine over here. Manine's just the best Jamaican guy you've ever met in your whole life. <laughs> I'm good. My beautiful wife over here. We got Mike Piper. He'll always take the skins to all my potatoes. I gotta love you for that. <laughs> Right off. <laughs> no, my dude, man. It's so many years again, man. Like, terrorist years, all that. So it's just, man, it's, it's, it's been a crazy ride. It's definitely been a crazy ride. Man, Gabor, next, he's my newer friend here. He's been here for a couple years now, but he's working his way up the list too. Oh, no, yes. I made it to the VIP table, man. <laughs> Love thing. And then, listen, I got my brother here, Harshal. I know. Listen, man, this, this guy is uh, he's, he's instrumental in my life in a lot of different ways. He's always been there for me and always made me the promise if he moved away, he'd always come back. And he always, always does. That's always one thing here. I just say. He always keeps his promises and he's always there for you. So, you gotta love you, bro. Love you, bro. Love you, bro. Thank you. One day he came in. God bless. Behind you. Behind you. Behind you. Behind you. We got Don, 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 Don. Many things I can say about Don, and they're all good. All good. So Don's been around for years, too. I mean, it's been, oh, 10, 12 years. I mean, you the cut, for sure. 10 years. It makes me feel good right now. I guess we all get old. Look at this guy, he looks better than me. Look at jeans. He's definitely an excellent model for your body. He's definitely he's fine aging. So big shout out to Don and his wife Nikki who's over there. I love these guys. Family first. They've always been there for me too as well. So big shout out to Don and Nikki, man. I love you guys. Thank you. And Nikki just got the hugs. She just got the hugs. I didn't know. I'm like, well, she got face warming. I didn't even know about here that I usually get. <laughs> Watch out for these two. Watch out for these two. <laughs> Thanks, Nikki. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, of course. We love you. We got Alex over here. Good boy's partner in crime. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. And then we've got Anya, and I've known Anya Hi. for a long time a too. Cat. Crazy from club days, the Titan days, and she's the most beautiful singer you ever hear. So I got blessed with that tonight. Her singing "Happy Birthday" to me—it's been like a, a, an annual tradition now, a yeah. couple of years. A couple of years, so, four or five, maybe. Pretty good. So I love Anya, uh, and she don't age a bit. You never <laughs> guess this girl's age. Never. Never, ever, ever, ever. Never ever. tells her age, though. That's right. And you'll but never you'll never guess either. So. If you get on the therapies, you might look like me, though. <laughs> you I'm better hope. You better hope. <laughs> hey, come on. Oh, come on. So, Ashley. So, Ashley is definitely one of my favorites. I call her my work wife. Oh. And, uh, you know, she is the bomb. She knows everything from, from top to bottom at Titan Medical Center. She's got a heart of gold. She loves cats, by the way. And, she, and she's just a beautiful person. Aww. She always likes to do the right thing. She's got, like I said, a heart of gold. Surrounded by beautiful people, so. Yeah, you are a beautiful person. <laughs> she, and she's got beautiful hair, so watch out. You ladies out there, it's all Those natural. Those are your health capsules, though. Let's go. <laughs> so, listen, I mean, she's been with us a long as a tight medical center, too, as well. And uh, I, she is fancy, so 100%. So, I love you, Ashley. Just wanted to give you a shout-out. You, you deserve a special shout-out. I appreciate you guys. Woo woo! Teresa and Charles, everybody shut the fuck up. Okay. First of all, I would like to say thank you to every single person that has come here tonight to celebrate the birth of my husband, my best friend, my soulmate, my business partner. Hell, Daddy Boo, y'all seen that sign outside? <laughs> literally at least seven, eight, nine, maybe 10 years. 30 years, 30 years according to Dirty over there. 
But some of you guys have been together in this room for a very, very, very long time. Tonight's a special night. There's a lot going on in me and John's lives right now, and every single person that's in this room counts. And you guys don't understand that life is short, and we have to count every single minute that really, really, really is here with us. So everybody that's here, yes, if you can believe it or not, because I know some of you guys asked me this question. <laughs> I'd cut it down. Yes, I'd cut down the number, and I'm still here at 90 people. But that's okay with me, as long as everyone that's in this room truly, truly loves me and John. Remember, Whether we were fucking broke or you're fucking rich, here we are. Okay? We love you. You guys fucking love us, and you know what? I can't pay for that shit. I can't. I cannot pay for love. Shut the fuck up. I can't. I can't. But happy birthday to my husband, and I love you. Uh, and like Sharice said, and, and big shout out to Sharice. Thank you so much to my beautiful wife. Um, she's always going, pushing, and she's way more of a gangster than I'll ever be. <laughs> <laughs> Real gangster. Real gangster. She always goes out of her way for me, and, and you know, and, and especially in, in, in my birthday, you know, every year, she puts together this fantastic get-together where I only get to see some of these people maybe once or twice a year, or maybe more, and I wish I got to see you guys more. But you know what? It shows a lot of love. And it's super appreciative to me that you guys even showed up. It's, it's worth more than money, more than presents, more than anything. You guys' time and my time together is, is special, and I appreciate every one of you guys. And I have a story with every one of you guys. Lots of stories. Lots of stories with some. And more and more stories I'm creating with others. But it's, uh, it's just, to me, it's, it's a blessing. It is truly a blessing to be around all you guys. And like my wife said, you know, life is short. Right? So, you know, every minute, every second counts with me, and especially with all the work and everything, and everybody's busy, so at that point we can come together and we can rejoice in one way or another, and if you guys come out to rejoice with me on my birthday, it's super special to me, and I want all you guys to know, thank you guys very much. Yeah. We love you. Love you. Love you. So, let's celebrate, let's get down. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Papa John. Happy birthday, birthday to you. We're going to head over. I think we're going to do the addition. Red room, I don't know. And uh, enjoy some, some more conversation, some more good times, and making more memories. So come along. Let's go. Love you, Peter. Oh, we're here. Finally, addition. The after party from the great dinner soiree.
What's up, guys? Another Titan Medical movie review just for you. Coming at you for me and my beautiful wife, Sharice, over here. Hey, everybody. And uh, tonight we got to go see Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. And it was pretty good, right? It had the Ghostbuster spirit in it from, from the start. Um, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, do I think it could have been a little bit better? Yes. And, and you know, did, did they bring Bill Murray in a little too they, late, I think? They, yes. they should have brought him in a um, lot sooner. Yeah, and should. there might have been some more laughs, I yeah, think. Yeah. I think if they would have brought some of these people in and they would have really took over. And I understand that they're on their way out and that, that's where they want the franchise to go forward. But, you know, that's who made the movie. And that's who a lot of the people are here going to see. And it's a lot of older people that were in the cinema tonight. It wasn't like a lot of young people. Oh. Well, I mean, Speak when, we're, yourself, when we're talking John. about 30s, 40s, 50s, 60 year olds in the movie theater and nobody underneath that, then at that point we gotta look at it and say, listen, what's the demographic here that we're hitting? But like I said, it had the spirit of Ghostbusters. Um, you know, it had some good parts in it. I thought it was kind of slow in some different parts and I thought it could have been a little bit better. So my star rating for this movie is gonna be a 2.7. John fell asleep for a few minutes. He doesn't ever fall asleep in the movie. Kind of slow. So that means it was really slow. It's kind of slow. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Usually I'm the one to fall asleep, and I'm sitting there like, okay. It's true. We're gonna take on this Ghostbusters movie alone today. No, I wasn't asleep <laughs> that long. Come on, maybe a couple minutes. Nah, I hit this here and there. Yeah, it's okay. funny. But, 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 I mean, Ghostbusters is Ghostbusters, right? I mean, anybody that's seen Ghostbusters, um, you know, it's like kind of corny, you know? So no you, way. The, the iconic Ghostbusters with the state Punk the Marshmallow Man. The original Ghostbusters right? is not corny. Come on. But every year the Ghostbusters went on, it got, like the last one was corny. Well, we're talking about the new generation of Ghostbusters. We're not talking about the old When we're talking about this movie today, aren't we? Well, I mean. We are not talking about the first Ghostbusters. When you're talking about Ghostbusters, I would automatically the original, the original <laughs> comes to mind, right? Well, we'll just we'll just date the corniness back to the last movie. And the then new school this, and the old school. And this movie, way. right? It was a little... You know, I feel like they could have some better characters. I don't think I really like the kid characters that much. Um, so, just my personal opinion. I mean, but I, I'm used to, like, when I hear Ghostbusters, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm up for, like, a movie of, you know, like, you know, the characters and the ghosts and all. They had, they did, they did, though. They did have a cool bad guy. You like the bad guy? For, for Ghostbusters, it was a cool bad guy. Because it was, you know. No. But my favorite part of the movie was, and you'll see it, and I don't want to spoil it, was, was another main villain, but a whole bunch of miniature of the main villains. Oh, those are just adorable. And it was hilarious. Those were not villains. That was hilarious. They were just oh, adorable. There would be four villains, but it was yeah. just a whole bunch of miniature ones. They were it, adorable. It was, it was great. It was great. Yeah, I think it was a funny thing. Right stand. over the fire. Yes. <laughs> it was definitely good. So, well, my star rating. rating. Um, we're going to give this one. We're gonna go with a 1.5 here. Ooh. You guys are like, you got that. Yeah. You can't go with a zero rating. We're gonna save that zero no, for something it good. It wasn't a zero. I think the next one we're gonna go see is the <laughs> Civil War. I'm not sure. And that's the divide of the country and the fighting. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Um, but either way, we're gonna be great, giving you guys great movie reviews. And uh, hopefully it's entertaining for you guys. All right? And at that point, don't trust us. We'll see it for yourself. And uh, we'll see you at the next time, Medical Movie Review, just for you. See you then. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you. So we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. And that's right. It's Christmas edition. Christmas? Or holiday edition. Happy it's, holidays, Christmas edition. Uh, for me, it's Christmas. Whatever you celebrate, it's yeah. your edition for the holidays. Merry, 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 merry 
day. Merry, merry holiday to you. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, we're back with another great episode. And if you guys are just tuning in for the first time, we are doing things for you guys to help you guys out with your relationship, give you guys good tips, tricks, and things that will help improve your life and quality of your relationship, hopefully. Yep. And these are things that me and Sharice have picked up over the years or we've seen or picked up from some of our friends or in other relationships that we've seen and we said, you know what, this is some information we're gonna learn from and hopefully pass this on to other people that and don't wanna make do these it mistakes. Ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Definitely don't wanna do that, but uh, you know, it's, it's Christmas. So, you know, we're about a week away from actual Christmas. So we wanna make this Christmas edition because if we waited till next week, it'd be over Christmas. So at that point, we wanna to talk to you about all these good things that come with Christmas or the holidays. Now, last week, I think we talked about getting in the Christmas or holiday spirit. You know, this time we're going to talk about actual Christmas and you still got a couple more days, right? So some of the first things is, is really how to get gifts for your loved one, right? Or potential loved one. Maybe you're dating somebody or whatever it is. Yeah. Where do you go? Where do you get them? What's right? What do you think they're going to like? And what's, you know, what's in boundary and out of bounds basically. Well, you know, what's actually funny, like super funny is that me and John have gotten to a point in our relationship where we, it's, a, it's so weird, we don't like buy Christmas gifts for each other, right? Because A, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't like gifts. Like, no, I, wait, hold on, let me, re, let me rephrase that. I really like gifts, okay? <laughs> 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 let me rephrase that before it bounces back on me here in the near future. Um, I like gifts, but I don't like surprises, right? Because Listen, I, I, this is going to sound terrible, but at least I'm, I'm being honest, right? You guys like the honesty? Well, here it is. <laughs> so, you know, here's the thing. John goes out, right? He goes and he wants to get me this beautiful earring set or this beautiful ring or this beautiful, you know, uh, necklace, whatever it might be, knowing he probably knows my style to some degree or whatever it might be, right? But... <laughs> If I had some input on like, let's just say he had four of them in front of him, right? And let's just say John picked the second best one that I would have probably maybe picked another one, but I obviously still like the one that he picked. And then I wouldn't want what I wanted, you know? I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. So we've at least gotten to that plateau <laughs> in our relationship where like we get to go out and we'll just be like, pick out something you like and be like, you pick that, you pick that. We'll turn around and be like, hey, that's gonna be a Christmas gift, okay? And then by the way, it's also your anniversary gift because our anniversary is in January. <laughs> He's like, hey, listen. He's like, I wanna make sure you understand that that's also your anniversary gift. I'm like, all right, let's do it. So on Christmas, it's kind of weird because like we don't op we don't open gifts from each other, but it's like normal at this point, you know. Yeah. Like if I had a gift from him, I'd be like, what did you? I mean, what would you even bother? Like, what you even bother getting? Like, yeah. it just got into that point. But it's way easier to shop for your significant other when you guys are first dating, and the best thing to do is to listen to what they like. This is true. What they like to this do, right? Don't go off and go buy and stuff, and then think you're gonna create some new, you know, uh, trend for them right. or something. Hobby or, or hobby like. or like yeah. go by what they actually like right because it's a present so yeah. you want to give them something that they they want they want to use or they want to wear or they would like to wear if you're not even sure you always go back to the cool things that like you can get at what is that what's that one place that has like all the massage things and like things you sharper can, image yeah like that, a cool place like that they always have something cool literally always have something they cool. do they there's do not cool one stuff. time i go in there it's like Wow, I would get this for John just to get it for John because he would like it, you know, just, but anybody would like a gift from there, 100%. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think you definitely need to listen to your partner, listen to their likes, you know, maybe what they needed throughout the year or something like that. Socks, you know? underwear. Well, I mean, you know, save that for yeah, your anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> save, save the socks and underwear for later on in life. I'm sure you're gonna, you've gotten plenty of those as a kid from your grandparents um, or as you get older, people pajamas, are going to get you this stuff, puzzles, right? Like, and you might like it a lot more than when you liked it a kid because as a kid you wanted toys. But, you know, as you get older, your priorities kind of change and your likes kind of change. Like, I, I'd probably get excited if I got like, you know, like a new blender or something like that. It's just, it's just something <laughs> crazy, like on the head. Like, you know, I wouldn't want it before as a kid, but you know, yeah, listen to them, you know, li listen to what their wants or needs are. Like, like I just said, so like if they want to get into a healthier diet the next year, you know, maybe get them a machine that helps them do that. Get like a, an air fryer or get them a blender or something like that and say, Hey, listen, now you can start making your own smoothies or whatever it is. Right. Um, or they might want to, 
to pick up a new hobby and you kind of get them whatever that thing is like you know or maybe even like buy them a day at the spa that's oh, always nice. a good present right It'd you go nice. to the spa and you get a full day at the spa you get treated like a queen i know my dad used to give me that gift all the time but it's a good gift honestly to yeah. get you your significant other you yeah. know just hey there's a whole day at the spa your prepaid services go enjoy the day and relax and chill out and you know come back in a happy mood yeah i think i think the big thing is, is just having the meaning behind it having a good meaning behind it yeah um it, guys it, just just a word <laughs> of advice okay do not get them a gift card okay anybody can go to walgreens or cvs or Publix and get a gift card for Outback, okay? Yeah. Nobody wants a gift card because there is really no meaning behind it unless there's like something really cool that happened at that place yeah. and you're just like, hey, ha, ha ha, it's a joke kind of thing. Yeah. But not like, hey, I didn't put any thought process in, I just picked it up yesterday and threw it in a card. <laughs> It's real simple and easy to do. <laughs> real simple, real easy. But it might not have a lot of meaning. No either. meaning. You, know, and you definitely want to get this, like, through the years, especially if you stay together, those things that you bought through the years, I and mean, you'll have even more meaning and significance probably to your partner that you're wearing or utilizing or whatever it may be. You know, and if you don't like it, don't tell them you don't like it, I guess. You Just make see. that face like, mm. Yeah, and that kind Go of like sucks. This. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't do that. You know, but you know, you should be grateful that you're getting anything from your partner. For sure. um, I think that's the biggest thing, and being grateful just for them being with you. You know, I, I think that's that's the other thing that you know a lot of people they just overlook. You know, that's that's the whole point of being together. The gift portion, I, I think, is is good to a certain extent, but it's, it's not overrated. everything. It's, it's not overrated. everything, right? It's overrated. And I think as we get older we understand that more a lot of people understand that more yeah. some people still want the gifts i mean honestly to be honest with you just don't take this for what it is but i mean i really could probably go like a christmas without a gift just because i feel like i get gifts all year right so like I, I i get whatever i need or want or so it's kind of in that point where i'm just like it's just another day and it's honestly this day is dedicated to our little one right yeah. i'm like oh i just want to see him smile i want to see our parents smile yeah. you know i just want everybody else to be happy and just we're good you yeah. know I'll, if you do it like that just make sure you got you're gonna have to put on like a santa outfit or something a hat at least a hat you know if you're tired and you know do something in the bedroom for your husband <laughs> you know I mean, you don't have to go all out if you're really exhausted from christmas and cooked all day or whatever it is you want to come up with you know put on some boots and you put on a little hat and be like hey let's do this that's right miss claus about take it to town <laughs> So, you know, I mean, that's just one portion is the gift portion. The other thing is creating those traditions um, with your family or loved one or whoever it is. You know, starting traditions early. You having Christmas together, you guys maybe waking up in the morning, going down by the tree, and you guys are going to open gifts together or it's, with the family. That's our tradition that, every know, year. That's, you know, that, that's the, you know, to me, I think that's the American dream tradition, right? Family members wake up. Or I know when I was a kid, I wanted to get up really early on that day, wake my parents up so I could go downstairs and open gifts. Wake up! Right? I know you. <laughs> so you know i mean that's the other thing like creating those traditions maybe creating you know favorite dishes that you guys eat together and stuff like that um you know and, and doing like christmasy stuff like i said like last week you, you know getting the spirit of christmas you know doing this and following through on christmas day um especially if you have little ones you know you're you're molding these memories right now so it's really important that you mold those good memories in your kid because they're going to remember this the rest of their lives um, or, you know, to a certain extent, you know, as they get older, they're really going to remember everything that went on during Christmas. So, you know, definitely want to create those traditions, create a good Christmas, good memories. You know, at that point, the other thing is, is take pictures or video. I know you, it's almost like you forget sometimes. Remember back in the day where you can actually like print the photos? I mean, yeah, listen, it's right? good to be, it's good to be in the moment, right? Cause I, I firmly believe this. Like I want to experience the moment <laughs> without having a, a phone in my hand or a camera in my hand. Cause I've done that for a long time every year. But you know what? I don't want to miss out on the memories either. Something that I can look back on five, ten years later and be like, man, this is so cool. You know, I'm going to share with you guys, right? Because this, this is a great, I'm going to just give you a great example, okay? So this is where you capture things that you may, like the surprises, things that happen, like right on the moment that you, if you didn't have that up or you didn't have the video camera, whatever it was, you wouldn't have captured it, right? So long time ago, this one Christmas, bu -bu 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 -bu, fast forward, um, we bought Peter a little- uh, Trike. D d uh, like, thingy. Four-wheeler like- Four-wheeler thingy. Like okay? a kid one, right? And I was, I was so excited for him to be excited, right? This is the funniest video. In fact, I, oh if I'll God. find it, I'll post it at the end of this show so you guys can see it because it's so funny so anyways um we're, we're opening presents whatever he gets on the thing you know he's like oh my god this thing's so excited 
is all on video. Thank goodness we captured it. Right? So I'm the one doing the video. And you know, I'm like, oh, this is so cool. He's so excited. He puts on his little helmet and he's like, he gets on top of it like this. And this is in the garage. The garage door is closed. And we have our Hummer at the time that's inside of the garage, right? <sighs> and this little tricycle, four wheeler yeah. thingy, whatever, is facing the Hummer. Okay? Just let me put this out there. So he gets on it, vroom, 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 and he's like, vroom, like, you know, pretending. Vroom, vroom. And then all of a sudden he actually did it and it was on. I don't know. <laughs> But literally, he just went full force right into the Hummer, just about the Hummer, and John literally grabbed him right before he hit the Hummer, like smash crash, and um, just barely yanked him back, and I, yeah. I don't think he actually hit it, right? No, I, I got in front of it. My, my <laughs> life was in the, my flash in front of my eyes, and I see this thing. I'm like, oh, my God, I had to react so quickly to stop this thing. And it's got power. It wasn't like a weak little <laughs> it was thing. So funny. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm like, it's so lucky that it happened. It was really, really funny. Definitely got the video. I posted on Facebook. So Jeez. I'll have to definitely look it up. But I'll look it up. That, that's just something like, you know, but we it's can a memory, laugh at, right? right? And we look back on it. It's on video. Yeah. I'm going to just, let's see. Let's see if there's any. Hey, look. You want to see if there's anything else maybe you could use that hel the helmet for? Why, why don't you go in the garage real quick? Yeah, let's see. Is there let's anything in the, in the garage? Maybe on the bike. Wow. <laughs> Look how cool that is. That's a four-wheeler. You like that, Peter? Yeah. Yeah? So these are things. So capture those memories, man, for, for the oncoming years to go. Especially if you've got family. These things are, you know, they're priceless. I promise you. Especially when you start looking back when they get older. Yeah. But um, these are just some of the different things that will hopefully make your Christmas or happy holidays even better. So at that point, guys, have a Merry Christmas. Um, we hope you have a happy Merry Christmas and a happy New Year or happy holidays, whatever it is. Uh, we're going to be here with you guys next week too as well and every other Sunday in 2022. So guys, keep it locked to ABC, 11 a.m. every Sunday. If you guys missed this, make sure you DVR it next time. If not, check out YouTube, just type Medical Center and all our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. You guys just look up Type Medical Center. You guys will see our smiling faces and a lot, lot more. <laughs> Plus, all the great things that we can do to help you guys feel better, look better, and perform better daily so that's it guys christmas edition is over we'll see you next week to talk about new year's Ooh. later guys bye